Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Um, my little assistant is zooming around somewhere. I'm fully expecting her to be here anytime soon. So, welcome back. Um, today is going to be the third and last crafty chat of this week and I probably have to hurry a little bit because I'm late and I have work to do. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, happy Friday. Um, I hope you're doing well and as always we are going to start with <coughs> I'm sorry we're going to start with the diamond painting part of this and as you can see nothing spectacular happened I finished another section and um, the plan for the next few days is to get about here so I guess <laughs> should be accomplished uh, should be possible to accomplish so just a tiny note because the next section will have the first mermaid and I um, I am going to make a few changes to her. I still remember when Rachel Ray did this painting, she um, noted afterwards that the face of this and the arm of this mermaid um, didn't look like they belong to, to a living mermaid <laughs> because it's basically white. You can see from the symbols, I'm going to hold this up a little bit so that you can actually see the symbols. This circle with the with the dot in the middle that is 3865 so her face and her arm are supposed to be basically white and then this um, other symbol which was the circle with the line through that is 762 which is a super light gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her some of this pinkish shading and I'm going to give her less of the white. So she has also a little bit of white in her belly and we are going to keep that. We are also going to keep some of the white in her arm and in her face, but instead of the light gray, we are going to use the um, 963, which is very pink. Um, it's, it's really a baby girl pink, but that's the color that's in here. The only other skin color I can think of without pulling out the drills is 758, but that's that's pretty dark as far as shading goes. I mean the mermaids are all a bit, a bit weird as far as shading goes. This one down here eh, has a lot of green, uh, green, yellow, a lot of yellow and uh, yellowy orange in her, but at least she doesn't look dead. <laughs> and that one up here looks a bit like a ghost maid. So that's that's going to be one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to change the mermaid a little bit. I have been thinking about changing her hair too because that also blows out completely to um, white and gray here going from the yellow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I might just replace um, the three gray or this is very light color. Why do I have a problem with the word gray today? Hi assistant. <laughs> There's um, the super light gray, a darker gray, and then the symbol K is actually more like a greenish baby warmth type of color. So I, I might be replacing that with the colors the rest of the hair uses just to keep it a bit more consistent. I know it's probably supposed to be some kind of reflection of the light, but I think in the end I will like it a little better if I go more comic and less realistic here, just to avoid these harsh color breaks. Um, yeah, hi. Are you underloved? Completely underloved? Oh. <laughs> attention, attention now. <laughs> so that's the plan for the weekend, so if there should be a crafty chat on Monday. If you're back on Monday for the next crafty chat, I should be five sections of 18 in. And we should have the face of this mermaid mostly done, I think. Yeah, mostly. I might finish her face and her arm completely. It goes a little bit over the section, but we don't need to be super OCD about the sections, right? <laughs> yeah, hi. Hmm. This cat absolutely loves having her nose scratched. This is just, it's so funny. 
Okay. That is all I did for diamond painting. I'm still absolutely in, in my planned progress. And then the next thing is, as always, stitching. Hey Bunch, can you, can you move to the... Yeah, thank you. I'm happy with kitty kisses. I just want to, to move the painting off the table because it's distracting as a backdrop. Thank you. Ah, cat hair on my nose, itchy. Next thing was stitching. I told you yesterday I plan to stitch on the Spell Will um, Halloween Cell by Barbara Anna and I already said that the last section looks a lot less stitching wise and yeah, mm, my knitting is the perfect pillow. At least you're not killing it. Um, and I was right, so I was able to finish this last night. And that's the complete piece. It is absolutely adorable. I did not add any additional um, beads into the bottom section. The branch was already there. And um, I contemplated for a moment to replace the critter's eyes with beads, but I hadn't done so for the witches and it might have looked odd, I don't know. So I just stitched it as it was supposed to be. Well, maybe except for the strings. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but usually with the back stitch you are supposed to do every every stitch. Can I move your butt a little bit? Every stitch by itself, go back again and again, but this usually this usually makes the lines look crooked. So what I prefer to do is to do one long stitch. Cat, you are not subtle at all. You are so not subtle. So every time you see something like that, but for me, that's a long, one long stitch. Um, but that's the only change I made to this pattern. Yeah. I... You've ignored me for the last hour. Now you're on like a light switched on, right? So I'm giving you a bit of extra show as far as her little paws go because you seem to love it when she does that. <laughs> mm, and it's your specialty, isn't it? Yeah, it's your specialty. Mm. And all on top of the stitching, you are in heaven. But please, no gloss into my stitching. That is a line we are not crossing here. So anyway, while I give the cat some cuddles, let's talk plans. Um, you already know them. I plan to start on the Santa's trip Christmas sale today, also Barbara Anna. I would like to get the frame in the first part finished because before the second part drops on the 15th. It should be possible. Let's see how far we can get on the weekend. I also want to do more knitting than I have done in the last few days. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I have to organize my time a bit better um, than I have in the last few days. But to be honest, work gets in the way, so <laughs> how dare it. Um, yeah, and that's, that's the plan for the weekend. I think... Can I do it over the weekend? Nah, let's, let's not put too much pressure um, on ourselves here. So we are not going to do this. Um, next thing, knitting. I think you need to... Oh, you already know the word, huh? <laughs> you need to get up, little kitty cat. So the next thing is the knitting. I did knit a little bit, but I did knit less than I wanted to. Can I move you? I need to grab my knitting real fast. So it pretty much to you, it looks like it looked yesterday a big mess that's too big to get into, into the frame. Still knitting the main section and yeah, mm, yeah, so fluffy. And this is pretty much what I did yesterday. I am now at 69%. So I, I wanted to do twice as many rows, but eh, 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 eh. 
but to be honest, the, the moment I finished stitching, it was still early enough to accomplish this goal in the day, but I was just too tired. I've lost a lot of sleep in the last few nights, partially because I couldn't fall asleep and then my uh, partner had issues. And that resulted in both of us not being able to sleep very well and not getting more than, um, well, between a few minutes and maybe three and a half hours of sleep per night. That's not a lot to run on. No, kitty. Can we please not do that? I know. Let me pull this out. I would like to finish this before you rip it apart. That's the one condition I have. Let me finish it before you rip it apart. <sighs> Crazy cat. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we we lost a lot of sleep, so I I didn't have the stamina yesterday to keep to keep knitting. Nope. My way or the highway, Missy. So um. That's why there's only a small section finished, but I am fully planned to, to change the focus a little bit. I have more time on Saturday and Sunday if this one here doesn't keep me on the couch for five hours straight. And um, maybe we can get a bit more done by Monday. That would be awesome. So I don't have any knitting plans for you today. I have not... Um, Decided yet what I want to do with the rest of the yarn. Also, I have um, a bit of a disclaimer to yesterday's plans. I have to reconsider um, because the pattern I cho showed to you yesterday needs a full 400 meter skein of yarn. And the one I showed you was a 360 something. So it's not enough. Um, I could use some kind of mini skein that would work with it, but honestly, I have so much yarn. I will find a better one for that one and uh, pick something else for the yarn I showed you today. Second disclaimer to yesterday's video, um, last night she has put her yarn back in her shop. So basically after the sale, she first fulfilled all the orders, I guess, and then took stock what is actually still there. And she has now re relisted or made them visible again. I guess she hasn't relisted them because they didn't show up in the in the update section for Etsy. Um, she has re relisted, made it visible again what she has in her shop. So if you are interested to see what Biff Sugar Yarn has to offer, hop over there and have a look. She is in the UK. Um, I don't know right now if she can ship to the US, full disclosure. I know she usually does, but I don't know if it's possible right now. As you know, some countries have more restrictions than others as far as shipping goes. <clears throat> um, and uh, the UK might have issues with shipping to, to um, the US right now, I have no idea. It's a bit hard to keep track of because we don't. Then France is pretty much closed off still, I think. And yeah, it's it's all very weird. Anyway, guys, this is a super short one. But like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time. So that's that's all I have to you. It's more cat than craft today, I guess. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And we should be back on Monday, hopefully with a little more to show you. Bye, guys. Thank you.